Welcome. Welcome our very dear friends. And thank you very much for your love. We know there are so many places you could have gone, but you sacrificed everything and come to be with us. We don't take that for granted. We say thank you very sincerely. I also want to thank you especially for believing in my capacities to control rain. <laughs> yes, it's supposed to be raining profusely right now. But when I knew you were coming, I fixed it up. Yes. Now allow me to say a very special welcome to all those who traveled all the way from Uganda's weight. <laughs> from UK. Youth Alive is in Uganda. <laughs> From? UK. Korea, did someone say? Amuria. Korea, did someone say? Anyanga <laughs> Sawo. Uh -huh. Welcome from Korea. And someone said Texas? That's in the United States of America? All the Americans are very, very welcome. And I, I agree that your country is called United States because when we went dancing there and started in Chicago, I had never seen a more windy place than that area. I was walking backwards. Then we went to another place called New Mexico and it was a completely different world. I said, these are different states, but united. So welcome from the United States of America. Now, I would like to give you a message to take it to <laughs> Take my message to to the people of New Mexico because I found out that those people don't know how to read English. Yes, when I went to New Mexico, having been taught that the letters Q U E are pronounced as que, like the word question. I found those people have a city beginning with the letter A. Does anyone know it? Albuquerque. Which one? That one. Uh, Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Must be one of them. <laughs> because the spelling is A L B U Q U E R Q U E. I went there practicing reading skills. Albuquerque. <laughs> I only tried them saying Alba Cookie. So tell them I'm coming to teach how to read English properly. Welcome from the United States of America. Are the friends from Haiti? Wow. Welcome from Haiti. And South Korea, Onyanga Seoul. Yes. And India, did someone say? India. This microphone doesn't want me to bring people in India. Namaste. You people, I'm a very good businessman now because I learned from an Indian friend called Patel. I was going to visit India and my Patel friend said, if they tell you a price in a shop, don't pay immediately because they're expecting to bargain. I said, what is the formula of bargaining? If they give you a price, offer 50%. I went to India, I wanted to buy these wonderful multicolored clothes that the Indian women wear, the sari. I went to the shop, I said, how much is that sari? And the Indian said, 20,000 rupee. I remembered my friend's formula and I said, I give you 10,000. And he said, don't worry, don't worry, come. Bring 16. I said, I give you 8,000. He was a bit confused. I said, okay, bring the 10 you said. I said, I give you 5,000 now. Disappointed, he said, last price, 6,000. I said 3,000. It's because I was applying the 50% formula. 
April, he said, last price, 4,000. I said, 2,000. And he said, take it for free. <laughs> then I asked for two. Welcome from India. Other friends from? Yemen? Yemen? Any other friends? UK. UK. Say that again. UK. Huh? Kamuria is in Uganda. Uganda is weak. What's wrong? All right. Are there any Ugandans around? Yes. That's all I ask. May I request all my Ugandan friends to please give a round of applause? all our friends from all over the world. Thank you. You realize that the whole world is